evening, everybody. Bienvenido. We're entering from Lent into the sacred mysteries of the Tridium, the, the celebration of the Paschal mystery uh, that our God makes as a great gift to us in giving his whole self and sacrificing himself for us. And so let us open our hearts and our minds to truly enter into this walk of faith, this walk of salvation that he has for us in these holy mysteries. Estamos uh, completando nuestro tiempo de cuaresma y entrarlo la, la, la Sagrada Tridium de la, de la Misterio Pascual. Vamos a entrar con corazones abiertos para recibir plenamente la salvación, la gran regalo de, de, del sacrificio de Cristo para vivir plenamente en la resurrección. Amén. Amén. Amén.
who are anointed with this oil experience the compassion of Christ and his saving love in body, mind, and soul. Amen. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. 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 Oil for anointing those whom Christ is calling. Oil for disciples to grow strong in believing. Oil for courage to fight the spirit of evil. anointing with this oil, may our catechumens who are preparing to receive the saving waters of baptism be strengthened by Christ to resist the power of Satan and reject evil in all its forms. Amen. anointing with this perfumed chrism may children and adults who are baptized and confirmed and presbyters who are ordained experience the gracious gifts of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's begin our prayer in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God the Father, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. spirit. To more worthily celebrate these holy mysteries of God's love for us, let us call to mind our sins, calling upon God's ever-present love and mercy for us. In our own language, in nuestro propio idioma, I confess to Almighty God and to you and my brothers and sisters that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words and what I have done and what I have failed to do through my faults, through my faults, through my most previous faults. Therefore, I ask the blessing of the ever virgin, all the angels and saints. And you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, to pray, pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May all
Almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and lead us to everlasting life. Amen. 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 God, who have called us to participate in this most sacred supper, in which your only begotten Son, when about to hand himself over to death, entrusted to the Church a sacrifice new for all eternity, the banquet of his love, grant, we pray, that we may draw from this great a mystery 
the fullness of charity and of life through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. <coughs> the Lord said to Moses and Aaron in the land of Egypt, This month shall stand at the head of your calendar. You shall reckon it the first month of the year. Tell the whole community of Israel on the tenth of this month, every one of your families must procure for itself a lamb, one apiece for each household. Now, if the family is too small for a whole lamb, it shall join the nearest household in procuring in procuring one, and shall share in the lamb in proportion to the number of persons who partake of it. The lamb must be a year old male and without blemish. You may take it from either the sheep or the goats you shall keep it until the 14th day of this month. And then, with the whole assembly of Israel present, it shall be slaughtered during the evening twilight. They shall take some of its blood and apply it to the two doorposts and lintel of every house in which they partake of the lamb. That same night, they shall eat its roasted flesh with unleavened bread and bitter herbs. This is how you are to eat it, with your loins girt sandals on your feet, your staff in hand. You shall eat like those who are in flight. <coughs> it is the Passover of the Lord. <coughs> For on this same night, I will go through Egypt, striking down every firstborn of the land, both man and beast, and executing judgment on all the gods of Egypt. I, the Lord. But the blood will mark the houses where you are. Seeing the blood, I will pass you over you. Thus, when I strike the land of Egypt, no destructive blow will come upon you. This day shall be a memorial feast for you. 
which all your generations shall celebrate with pilgrimage to the Lord as a perpetual institution. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Shall I make a return to the Lord for all the good He has done for me? The cup of salvation I will take up and I will call upon the name of the Lord. Our blessing. Lectura de la primera carta del apóstol San Pablo a los Corintios. Hermanos, yo recibí del Señor lo mismo que les he transmitido, que el Señor Jesús, la noche que iba a ser entregado, 
tomó pan en sus manos y pronunciando la acción de gracias, lo partió y dijo, Esto es mi cuerpo, que se entrega por ustedes. Hagan esto en memoria mía. Lo mismo hizo con el cáliz después de cenar, diciendo, Este cáliz es la nueva alianza que se sella con mi sangre. Hagan esto en memoria mía, siempre que beban de él. Por eso, cada vez que ustedes comen de este pan y beben de este cáliz, proclama la muerte del Señor hasta que vuelva. Palabra de Dios. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Before the feast of Passover, Jesus knew that his hour had come to pass from this world to the Father. He loved his own in the world, and he loved them to the end. The devil had already induced Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot, to hand him over. So during supper, fully aware that the Father had put everything into his power, and that he had come from God and was returning to God, he rose from supper and took off his outer garments. He took a towel and tied it around his waist. Then he poured water into a basin and began to wash the disciples' feet and dry them with a towel around his waist. He came to Simon Peter, who said to him, Master, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus answered and said to him, What I am doing you do not understand now, but you will understand later. Peter said to him, You will never wash my feet. Jesus answered him, Unless I wash you, you will have no inheritance with me. Simon Peter said to him, Master, then not only my feet, but my hands and head as well. Jesus said to him, 
Whoever has bathed has no need except to have his feet washed, for he is clean all over. So you are clean, but not all, for he knew who would betray him. For this reason he said, not all of you are clean. So when he had washed their feet and put his garments back on and reclined at table again, he said to them, Do you realize what I have done for you? You call me teacher and master, and rightly so, for indeed I am. If I, therefore, the master and teacher, have washed your feet, you ought to wash one another's feet. I have given you a model to follow, so that as I have done for you, you should also do. The Gospel of the Lord. Before I begin my reflection, I would ask you the favor of your blessing. May the blessing of the Lord be upon you. We bless you in the name of the Lord. Antes mi reflexión, por favor, dame el favor de su bendición. Thank you. Today we celebrate the Mass of the Lord's Supper. First time that Jesus uh, breaks bread and proclaims his sacrificial love for us as he goes to his cross. And in that too, uh, we received the oils, no, from the, from the cathedral. We had the, what's called the Chrism Mass this morning where the Archbishop uh, blessed, the, blessed the, the oil of, of the sick and the oil of the catechumen and consecrated the oil of chrism. And that blessed chrism he reflected on at, at the morning Mass is, is, is the anointing, it's infused, he actually breathes onto it uh, uh, symbolizing the breath of the Holy Spirit coming into the oils and he, he says it's almost and he, he said now it's I'm, remember I'm saying almost so don't report me so don't report me either uh, because if you report me you have to report our Archbishop so <laughs> so if you call him up he'll say that's okay that Father Chris said that <laughs> almost as powerfully as his body blood soul and divinity that chrism oil has the infusion of the Holy Spirit that, that, that indelibly penetrates our hearts and our souls to transform us into the very presence of Christ. And he talked about uh, the priests being anointed on their hands for, for our sacred uh, role as, as, as pastors and teachers and those that lead the the, the assembly and prayer and, 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 and consecrate the Eucharist. But he also talked about, you realize, every one of us, every single one of us is consecrated with that same chrism in our confirmation. We receive the, the anointing of Christ. In our baptism, we receive that, that the, the penetrating power of the Holy Spirit to become his very presence to the world. We are consecrated for a mission. We are to be 
the body of Christ. That's what we celebrate tonight, my friends. Our participation in the mission of Jesus. And as we hear in the, in the gospel tonight, in instruction, his, kind of his last act of instructing us, his apostles, who are apostles, those that are sent, right? Is it just the priests that are sent? Is it just religious that are sent? How, who, is, who is really the most important people that get sent? All of us, right? All of us together, but most importantly, the lay people. You are the church. You are the ones that God sends into the world so that, so that everyone that you encounter through your acts of mercy and charity, through your words of faith, might know the love of God. And so he washes their feet. The most humblest of acts. It's the, it's the one thing that you gave the, the lowest of the slaves to do was wash people's feet. Uh, as, as they entered the banquet. And Christ was willing to be that humble servant to each of us. But then he charges us, no, if the master does this, then those that follow him must also do this. We need to participate in the gentle and humble service and love that Christ gives us. And so we might be that humble and gentle presence to those most in need in our life. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, the ones most in need in our lives are quite often the ones that are the most difficult in our lives. Uh, and so it's not easy to be God's presence to those most in need but it is the most blessed act that we could do. It is sacrifice. It is imitation of, of Jesus' cross that we will celebrate tomorrow. And it is that participation in the sacrifice that Christ makes for us out of love that we truly open our hearts to receive the power of his resurrection. He will give us in every act that we do in sacrifice for the love of others in Christ, he will bless us with a deeper and a deeper sense of his love and his presence and his peace. Will it be easy? No. But it is the way, the truth, and the life, my friends. We are in this together, on mission together with Christ. And so as we receive him tonight, let us open our hearts to be that presence to those that most need us today and each day. Amen? Amen. Amen. Vamos a dar, I'll give a little summary in Spanish, probably the same thing. <laughs> Nosotros estamos celebrando hoy la, la, la misa de la última cena. La, la primera vez que Jesús ofreció Pan y vino que proclama lo que este es mi cuerpo, este es mi sangre, mi sacrificio del amor para cada uno de nosotros. Y también recibimos los hoyos de la catedral. Lo más importante es el sagrado crisma que utilizamos para conformación y la consecración de, 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 de los sacerdotes y obispos. Y él habla sobre nosotros los sacerdotes reciben la unción de nuestras manos. Pero eso es importante porque manos es, es que utilizamos para servir. Si no es en nuestras cabezas, es en nuestras manos. Sus, sus, sus sacerdotes están los servidores de todo, de la comunidad. Pero cada uno de nosotros, no solamente los sacerdotes, todos nosotros en nuestra conformación recibimos el mismo unción en nuestra, en nuestra cabeza porque nosotros tenemos la misma misión de Jesucristo. 
para traer su amor, su presencia al mundo. Y la, la más personas que están unidos no son sacerdotes, no son religiosas, que es la más numerosos en, uh, elegidos de la iglesia. Ustedes, los laicos, ustedes realmente tienen la, la, la misión primera y más importante de la iglesia para ir al mundo, para ir a su familia, para ir a su trabajo, para ir a sus a, a escuelas, todos los lugares del mundo para proclamar con sus acciones de cariño y sus palabras de fe la presencia, el poder y el amor de Dios. Todos somos apóstoles y Él danos la, la, la última instrucción de acción en la última cena. Él lavó los pies de los apóstoles. ¿Quién son apóstoles? Who are, who are apostles? Todos levantan los humanos. Who are apostles? Oh, todos, todos. Nadie no. Todos, come on now. Charlotte, you're, you're an apostle too. <laughs> bueno, todos. Nosotros, ¿por qué qué es la significa de un apóstol? Es una persona que es enviado a Cristo para de Cristo para presentar su amor al mundo. Todos nosotros recibimos este llamado. Y él hizo el ejemplo de, 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 de servicio de apóstoles como el lavado de la pie. La acción más humilde de, una, de un esclavo para honor lo, 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 los invitados de la banquete. Y después de eso, él dijo, si sí, el maestro hizo eso, sus estudiantes necesitan imitar. Entonces, cuando recibimos <coughs> esta gran presencia humilde de nuestro Salvador, abrimos nuestros corazones para recibir el poder y lo, la humildad para compartir el mismo a nuestros que están en la más necesidad de este amor. La lucha, la prueba es los, muchas veces, nunca de, de, de yo, cerca de, de, de siempre, ellos que están en la más necesidad están los más difíciles de nuestras vidas. Entonces realmente necesitan la fusión del Espíritu Santo. Necesitan la presencia de Cristo para continuar vilamente en servicio y en amor para ellos. Entonces vámonos a recibir que nosotros no tenemos en, en nuestros mismos. Para empezar otra vez como apóstoles del amor. Amén. So let us receive with open hearts once more the power that we don't have in ourselves to truly be apostles of God's love. Amen. Amen. Amen.
Commission to wash the feet of our neighbor, we call to mind the needs of those around us and those throughout the whole world. Ya que se nos ha dado el mandato de lavar los pies de nuestros prójimos, recordamos las necesidades de los que nos rodean y a las de los del todo mundo entero. We of the church pray for our community of faith as we gather together to celebrate the holiest of days, ultimately leading to Jesus' pilgrimage from death to new life. Unidos en oración con la gente de Francia y los católicos de todo el mundo, lamentamos el incendio que consumió la catedral de Notre Dame en París, que sea reedificada en una nueva vida. As people of faith, we pray for the inspiration and courage to follow the example of Jesus, doing unto others as we would have them do unto us, not only today, but every day. Oremos por todos los que no pudieron estar con nosotros en esta noche santa, que sepan que estamos con ellos aún en su ausencia. deceased loved ones of our parish family who have gone before us into eternal life, resting forever in the loving arms of the Father. Te 
oremos, Señor Jesús, que te conozcamos mejor al caminar contigo, recordando tu viaje a la cruz, conmemorando tu muerte y celebrando tu resurrección.
pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, that we may participate worthily in these mysteries, for whenever the memorial of this sacrifice is celebrated, the work of our redemption is accomplished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through who Christ our Lord, for he is the true and eternal priest who instituted the pattern of an everlasting sacrifice and was the first to offer himself as the saving victim, commanding us to make this offering as his memorial. As we eat his flesh, that was sacrificed for us, we are made strong. And as we drink his blood that was poured out for us, we are washed clean. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts, these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be 
please to grant her peace, to guard, unite, and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant Francis, our Pope, Alan, our Archbishop, and all those who, holding true the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember all gathered here, those whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you this sacrifice of praise, for they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them for the redemption of their souls in hope of health and well-being and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you as we observe the day on which our Lord Jesus Christ handed on the mystery of his body and blood for his disciples to celebrate. Order our days in your peace and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. On the day before he was to suffer for our salvation and the salvation of all that is today, he took bread in his holy and venerable hand and with eyes raised to heaven, you, to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Del mismo modo acabada la cena, toma el cáliz glorioso a sus santas y venerables manos, dando gracias de bendijo, lo dio a sus discípulos, diciendo, Toen y vean todos do es, porque este es el cáliz de mi sangre, sangre de la alianza nueva y eterna, 
que será derramada por ustedes y por muchos para el perdón de los pecados. Hagan esto en conmemoración mía. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death. we celebrate the memorial of the blessed passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious assumption into heaven of Christ, your Son, our Lord, we, your servants, and your holy people, offer to you glory, your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serenity and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer, we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high in the sight of your divine majesty so that all of us who, through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing, through Christ our Lord. To us also, your servants, who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share and fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, uh, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agatha, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, in their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we have the courage to pray in our own language, in nuestro propio idioma, Father in Libranos de todos los males, Señor, y concédenos la paz en nuestros días, para que, ayudados por tu misericordia, vivamos siempre libres de pecado y de potre, y, y, y libranos de toda perturbación, mientras la esperanza de nuestro Salvador, Jesucristo. Jesus Christ said to his apostles, my peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. Form us by your word and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will. You who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. el cordero de Dios. Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. Only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
sacramento del altar misterio de amor y santidad amor que ha venido a visitar el corazón del alma que lo busca devoción Jesús Sacramento de amor Es posible que alcance salvación Amarte quiero Bendita presencia de poder Llena mi vida de tu gracia y de fe Para proclamar a los pueblos
Grant, Almighty God, that just as we are renewed by the supper of your Son in this present age, so we may enjoy his banquet for all eternity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.